Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. Will unified heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua face Kubrat Pulev in Turkey, or will Alexander Usyk, his other mandatory challenger, be next? There's a few breadcrumbs to suggest both, but we'll talk about it. Starting with the Kubrat Pulev stuff, Pulev the Bulgarian has shared to his half a million followers on Facebook an article which suggests that um, he will be facing Joshua in Turkey in May at a football ground. And that, yeah, sort of comes from left field, Istanbul being the destination. But yeah, I know this won't make uh, a lot of Joshua fans happy. Uh, his United Kingdom base, a lot of them were hoping that he would be returning home after his fight in Saudi Arabia. But I guess the thing is with this Kubrat Pulev fight is out of the options that he's got in terms of the two mandatories, it seemingly is the one that people think is going to be the easier of the two. And maybe it has a little less sizzle in terms of the matchup than Alexander Usyk, the former cruiserweight king who's coming up. There's some good storylines there. And if you were going to have one of the two fights not in the United Kingdom, having the pulley of one on the road somewhere does actually make some sense. But the destination, Turkey, having it at a football stadium in Istanbul, that is certainly, I think, from left field, but I guess it could just come down to the site fee. There could have been a bidding process. There would have been a lot of interest from a number of countries. I mean, the leading destinations were thought to be the United States, the UK, and also Saudi Arabia again. So while Turkey is from left field, if they stump up with the money, it really just is as simple as they could go where the money is. That's what happened with Saudi Arabia. That was seen as a left field option at the time, but ultimately it worked out. It was a good event. It sort of ran smoothly and they got a boatload of money for it. And that could be the same sort of situation if they do, in fact, go to Turkey. But the actual promo poster, which you can see, initially I sort of thought maybe someone had mocked it up themselves, but then it had the Epic Sports and Entertainment uh, logo on it. So maybe it has come from the Pulev team. I just don't know. I mean, who's to say? It just could be a, a quick mock-up that has been sort of put together. They might have done one for all the destinations, potential destinations that are in the running at the moment. So we know that Joshua and Pulev have until the end of January so to come to some sort of agreement. Initially, he had been given, this is Joshua, 30 days by the IBF to negotiate with Pulev. They've uh, pushed it out till the end of January. And if they can't come to some sort of deal, it would go to a purse bid. And if they went to that sort of length, who knows where it could end up if Epic Sports and Entertainment came in with some, that's Pulev's uh, co-promoters. And he's also co-promoted by Top Rank. But if they came in with a boatload of money, could end up literally anywhere. If someone puts up a big enough uh, amount, you know, who knows but yeah Istanbul certainly a bit of a left field destination not a lot of top heavyweight boxing is actually sort of fought in Turkey I mean obviously you do have some Turkish heavyweights that are floating around Ali Erin Demirishin he's the number one in Turkey although he's generally been fighting elsewhere uh, mainly Germany but the number two in Turkey Umat Kamkaran has defended his external EBU title a couple of times in the country so so it's not like boxing and heavyweight boxing isn't happening in Turkey just not the high profile fight so it might seem a bit of a left field sort of option but it could potentially happen if the money is right and I guess if they're looking to take um, Anthony Joshua Global, grow his um, star power, his brand, etc., a fight against Kubrat Pulev, who he is expected to beat, and which may do fewer pay-per-views in the United Kingdom than, say, um, recent ones, because his profile is a little bit less. Um, people aren't necessarily as interested in Kubrat Pulev as they are in other fighters could be a perfect one to do on the road and that's no disrespect to Kubrat Pulev I'm just sort of telling it how it is so I could see this one going on the road and I could see a lot of Joshua fans not necessarily being happy about that if it did happen but we'll see where things go with that because obviously they're still working it out
And the Alexander Usyk stuff is interesting. He's the WBO mandatory, while Kubrat Pulev is the IBF mandatory. Meetings were held in London. This was um, yesterday. Uh, Eddie Hearn and also Usyk's promoter, Alexander Krasjuk, promo- uh, posting different pictures with Anthony Joshua. Um, this one here, which was from Alexander Krasjuk, initially, because I know a few people had said, is this a cardboard cutout of Anthony Joshua? But then when you see the Eddie Hearn shot, obviously Joshua's hands in a different position but they're talking about 2020 and you know a potential fight between Usyk and Joshua and at the moment there's kind of three real options for Anthony Joshua either face Usyk next drop the title or pay step aside money to face Usyk later in the year and I guess all three seem to be on the table at the moment Krasjuk who represents Usyk and remember Usyk is co-promoted by Eddie Hearn but that doesn't mean that Usyk and his team are just going to roll over and give everything that they you know Anthony Joshua wants to do which would be keeping the belt and probably paying some step aside but they will be if they do end up doing a step aside trying to drive a hard bargain get the most for their man and the caption from Eddie Hearn in this one here was more meetings planning 2020 and I guess, you know, planning 2020, that doesn't necessarily mean Usyk next. And if we do see a situation with a belt dropped or a step aside, it just could end up being that uh, Usyk is the second cab off the rank later in the year. And if they do end up uh, having a situation with Joshua drops a belt, uh, Usyk uh, fights someone, gets the title, and there could end up being some sort of unification later in the year. But yeah, a few people have taken some of this, uh, these talks and these photos to be that um, Alexander Usyk is the next guy. And Joshua has sort of said his preference of the two is to face Usyk next. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to happen. Doesn't necessarily mean it's the most feasible. So I guess, yeah, at least for now, everything is sort of up in the air. So Krasjuk in his photo, he said, interesting talks in London with Eddie Hearn, Anthony Joshua, hashtag Usyk Joshua. So that's probably going to happen at some point, but I'm a little skeptical about it being next. And if it is a step aside, you'd imagine it would have to be a decent chunk of change. But what do you make of this? Is it going to be Anthony Joshua, Kubrat Pulev next, or Usyk Joshua? And if it is Pulev next, will it be in Istanbul? It's a question. Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Boxing underscore squared. I'm out.